It will be very difficult to find the most optimized solution if you have never seen this coding question. So give it an array of zeros and ones, return the maximum number of consecutive ones in the array if you can flip at most one zero. Let's say we're given this array, we can convert this zero to a one to generate at most five consecutive ones, so we can return five. Let's go over the dot process. For each of the zeros inside the array, we need to count the number of ones on the left side and on the right side. What we can do is to create two variables to keep track of the number of ones on the left and right side. Now, for each of the elements inside the array, if it's equal to 1, we will increment the count on the right side. And if the current element is a 0, we will also increment the count because it can be converted to a 1. And also, if the current element is a 0, we will need to place the number of 1s on the right side to the left side and reset the count on the right side. We can now repeat the process with the remaining elements. The maximum sum between the left and right side will be our results. Let's implement the function find max consecutive ones taking the input array. Keep track of the maximum, the number of ones on the left and right side. Iterate through the elements. Increment right. If the current element is zero, set left to right, reset right to zero. Update max if left plus right is greater, return max.